What is up all you wonderful people out there? How you all doing? Hi. We got the Bush Garden Junkies here, Paul and Maggie. And uh, well, we got a lot to go through and yeah, we are starting in the vehicle. Um, yeah, we got a lot to get through today, so let's just get right to it. Hey folks, we're here at Bush Gardens Tampa with Chef Matt and come to the Coaster Coffee Company. Get the funnel cake. Get, get the, the funnel cake. Maple bacon. Funnel maple cake. bacon funnel cake. Doesn't that look good? He informed me it was fake, but I don't know. It looks too good to be true. Please enjoy. Thank you. Hey, what's up all you guys? I want to thank the 485 of you subscribers. Woohoo! Ah, another woohoo. So, check this out. If you see a little red button down there that says subscribe, click it. Go ahead and click it. Make it turn gray. And then we can get even higher. We're we're that close to 500 and I don't know, but I think we we got something that we may give away on our 500 subscribers. Okay. I don't know what we may do. We may give away a prize or something. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And, and guess what? Only 20% of you, maybe 25% of you are subscribed. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make those numbers climb. Yeah. Let's see about 50% of the viewers out there subscribed. That would do really good. Yeah. Uh, just a little bit of an update on some of the rumors that have been going on. Uh, there is in the works uh, something and I just checked actually the Tampa permit website and Bush Gardens does have a permit for something called Project Halcyon. Now, whenever I hear that, I'm thinking of Disney and the Halcyon, which is the Galactic Star Cruiser for the Star Wars Hotel. Oh. So hopefully Busch Gardens isn't pulling a fast one and building a starship over here. Ha ha, I don't think so. There is also a reference to something like a, a Fisher King or, or something along those lines. And uh, along with part of that rumor was, well, we got the Phoenix that has been removed behind us. And we also have Sand Serpent. There were rumors about that being removed. And there was also rumors about using the Pantopia Theater because there was no shows scheduled for the remainder of this year. Well, uh, we are coming up to the Pantopia Theater and there is a show coming up. Rescue Tales is coming back. That was an amazing show. So no, the Pantopia Theater is not gonna get removed or redesignated as an indoor ride or anything like that if they're gonna have a show going on there. But stay tuned. And as soon as I get more information about Project Halcyon, I will keep you guys up to date with it. Well, we came here and uh, we're on our way to Kumba and the Congo train station is open. I'm not sure how well you can see it. Maybe I get through it all. But if you look just beyond Kumba, there's what looks like some uh, fencing or something back there. Not sure what's going on back there. 
could it be possibly related to, to Project Halcyon? walls or something uh, we don't know I, I can't tell it's out there in the employee parking lot the the Kumba employee parking lot so if anybody is watching this and they know what's going on out there hey go ahead and write something down there in the comment section we got our red-headed friends up here looks like mama and baby I don't know. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Uh, yeah, I can't tell who that is. But they're enjoying the shade up there. So for lunch, I had decided on the pulled pork sandwich. And she got the smoked chicken. Both the pieces are dark meat. And <laughs> you can probably guess, yes, we're at the smokehouse. Okay, as I was uh, doing some research, looking at the Tampa permitting website and uh, looking up about Project Halcyon, I did see another permit in there in the books and it looked like they were looking for their uh, final inspection and right behind me is the smokehouse bathrooms so it's a very good chance that these bathrooms right here could be done and they're looking for the final inspection get ready to get wet That's right guys, we have come to our pink chickens and the nice thing that Bush Gardens has done is given us some shade. Nice little canopy here that they just put in recently. Yeah. Oh, and there's ducks on the other side of the fence there, over there. Huh. Oh, look at him. Jumping around. Let's scoot up a little bit more. Oh, there he goes. Whoa! That one was jumping around. Hi. <laughs> you gotta hop around with them. Scared everyone. <laughs> Feeding time, Tallulah. What are they doing? See, they're being crazy. Do you want is any more blind? What? Is she, is she blind? No, that is a possibility with her being albino. She's fully, you know, just like an albino, like a white rabbit right uh, so she got that pink everything um right now her hearing and her eyesight is good but i wouldn't be surprised if that you know could be something down something the road. along the um, road we right. have three albinos yeah that's Tallulah, and then the other two are behind the bamboo um their mom and son they're about like four and two years old we have no idea how old Tallulah is they came from the zoo in indiana so oh. not sure is that little one that's running around here is that a baby the baby little one that is a but if you have the little, little ones, those yeah. are also wallabies, tomorrow wallabies. Um, that little one over there. So that okay. little one is a Bennett's wallaby. No, it's oh. right there. Oh, it's, it's behind. Yeah, it's behind the 
behind the bushes. She was hopping around over here a yeah. lot. Yeah. I think she went right there. In yeah, I think that's her bamboo. right there. So that's a baby wallaby. This is rare, right? yep. oh, nice. This little girl that's kind of on edge right now, she's new as well. Uh, she's just over a year old. Oh, hi. Oh, wow. So she's, she's making friends, though. These are all the gray kangaroos. So I've, I've been happy to see her hanging out with all of them. Yeah. She's just she's a kangaroo, to right? Gray kangaroo, yep. So okay. that's a western gray. Uh, these ones are eastern gray, so you can kind of see they're a little bit different, more brownish black, right. and that's more whitish gray. And then the red kangaroos just have the red tail. So okay. the gray kangaroos have black tip tail. Ah. Yep. Yeah, thank you. And the myth girl in the back by the tree, that's a wallaroo. Not a hybrid, it's own species, but whoever found the animals said, you look like a mix, so I'm going to call you a mix. <laughs> a wallaroo. Uh, genetically, they're different. Yep, a wallaroo. Her name's Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Yes, yeah, she's 16. Girl. Wow. Not as old. The one that's standing Good old right sweet there. Is 16. 22. Yeah. Which yeah, one? 16. The one that's kind of hunchback right there. Oh, okay. Looks like she's falling over. Yeah. She's gonna Love go her. To sleep. That's Fleur. Yeah, she's sleepy. They all just got a bunch of food, so. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, she's 22. She's wow. Great. She's our oldest. Thank you. Yeah. Well, guys, it's been another wonderful day here at Bush Gardens Tampa. Yep. And, uh, well, we're giving you uh, all the rides that was all the rides except for the water rides a reverse POV and if you liked it don't forget to hit that little uh, thumbs up button down there and also if you're not subscribed yet which Ew. about 80% of you are not Ew. go ahead and hit that red button down below us and turn that red button to gray and subscribe Thank you and have a great day guys. See you later.